this video is my experience over the last four years with the uh, PF4 4150 style uh, EFI installed on a 355 small block Chevy. I'm no PF4 expert or EFI expert. I'm just trying to help people out or thinking of going with the EFI. I went with the PF4 for reliability plus I'm a set it and forget it type person. Not a tuner. And it really updates the old school small block Chevy. I think the people at Elder Block did a really good job at keeping the PF4 simple. The EFI is plug and play system and user friendly. Being able to use the CAM bus to supply data to the trans controller is very helpful. I do wish the PF4 had a malfunctioning light. Sometimes if you're just cruising around all the time, motor bay runs just fine. Drop the hammer on it and one day find out the motor is not happy. I'm sure if the PF4 has limp motor is running on the map, the MPG may drop off quite a bit if there's problems with the sensors. The PF4 is a straightforward install as long as the instruction manual is understood and followed. Even if you're new to EFI, getting a fresh new motor running is fairly easy with the setup wizard. <clears throat> I think leaving the O2 sensor unplugged and plugged into the harness on the first fire up for just a minute or two will help the O2 sensor live longer. All the assembly lube, oil, antifreeze, paint fumes will shorten the life of the O2 sensor big time. Soft mounting the ECM in the cab is possible if possible, will make the PF4 more reliable. Under the hood, heat, vibration, stray electronics are hard on the ECM. 12 volts are in a good ground are a must. There are a lot of good fuel pumps and regulators on the market. What worked best for me was an intake, at least 100 PSI pump, and the elder block fuel rail mounted regulator. The fuel circulates and helps from heat soaking the fuel and looks really clean. I used a fuel pump relay even though the pump draws less than 10 amps or under. If I used the setup wizard for the first time, just started thinking, if you start thinking you have more motor and cam than you have, you'll be doomed from the start. I found out the PF4 is idle vacuum sensitive. No vacuum leaks, no, and boosters seem fine, but double check. I have found using a map that is closer to the idle vacuum than what you think the cam specs are is better. If using a brand new motor, uh, make sure you keep an eye on your vacuum. It may go up as things break in. If it goes up, you're going to have to change the map. If you want any kind of MPG out of the motor, miles per gallon, you might be surprised on how good the motor runs if you use a map that's a little short to what you think it should be. Uh, as long as there is no uh, pre-detonation and the motor is happy using that fuel curve, I close the tablet and let her eat. I have not figured out when to change the learn mode so I just left it set to fast. Now, if you're looking for uh, wrench your neck horsepower or almost shoving the crankshaft out of the block, playing with the tuner for hours before you even turn the key to start it, pulling 6,000 pound loads up 7% grades with a small block 307, the PF4 not, might not be what you're looking for. Also, the PF4 on a motor using Two quarts of oil between fill-ups and leaky antifreeze out of the heads and gaskets into the cylinders. Timing chain slapping like a guitar string. PF4 is not going to make it run any better. Thanks for watching.